Okay, this app is called Clever Tales. And uh, when you open up the app, you'll get um, a couple of choices. Uh, this is a collection of stories, um, about 40 stories for children 4 plus and 7 plus. Now, it even has the option for um, parents or educators to send in their own stories as this app uh, develops. It's a, it's a fairly new app. Um, going into the info screen, you'll be able to go through the settings, um, learn a bit about the company, uh, and so on, rate them, report a problem, recommend, recommend them to somebody. Uh, going back out, let's go ahead and uh, open the 4 plus section up. And uh, as you see, when you scroll up and down, you have a selection of stories. And uh, you can choose any one of these. And this one is called Timmy in Trouble. And this is uh, an app that takes you back to when we used to actually read books and not just sit there and listen to them. Um, you can uh, adjust the brightness for the app. You can make it a favorite. So we'll do that so I can show you what it's about. We can also share it, Twitter, Facebook, email, or we can print out the story and we can go back to the home screen. Now, you can also go through this. This is, so this is story six of 21 on the four plus uh, page. And if we wanted to go to the next story, we could just go through there and press number seven, Jacob's fingers. And number eight would be how a firefly learned to glow. And like I said, this is a, this is a, an application that actually has children reading themselves. That's that. So that explains the the age uh, age groups of four plus and seven plus. Obviously, for children that can uh, can read or can or can certainly um, sit down with their parents and enjoy the stories as they read it to them. So. The stories are fairly short, uh, which is nice for bedtime, and you basically go through them by scrolling up and enjoying the graphics that are uh, incorporated into each one of the stories. And we'll just scroll through this one to show you a length, and that's the end of that story. And then once you've done that, you can, like I said, either continue to scroll through them and so on, or you can go back to... Um, back to the home page. Now let's go ahead and look at 7 Plus. And we have another selection of stories here, as you can see. And it's the same thing. You'll click on one, the story will come up. We'll add this to our favorites. You'll go through the story, enjoying the beautiful graphics, uh, and reading that story to yourself or to your child, or having the child read it before they go to bed. And again, most of the stories are pretty short, so um, it's nice that they can do this uh, just by taking five or ten minutes out of the day. It certainly encourages kids to read. Um, let's go back out to the home screen. Um, when you click on Recents, which is the clock symbol down here, it'll show you what you've been looking at recently. So that'll bring up all the stories you've, you've, uh, you've looked at um, recently, obviously. When you click on favorites, it'll bring up the stories that you marked as favorite. You can search. Uh, we don't have any saved searches, but you can certainly search for uh, the stories. Uh, all of your successful searches will be stored here. Start your search now. Um, going back to the tales, going back to the home screen, and there we are. And uh, like I said, this part here will develop over time as parents and uh, people that enjoy writing children's stories may want to send in their story and have it featured on, um, on the actual app. So overall, a very nice application, uh, something that uh, involves your child reading or involves you reading to the child. And this application is called Clever Tales.